Hi, this is American Bent Machines with an open office tutorial on making a 2.25 inch round button. Uh, first, you'll need to go to our website at AmericanBentMachines.com and download our open office template for the 2.25 inch button round. Once you download the file, you're going to open it in open office and you will see a file that looks very similar to this. You'll have two circles. Um, this inner circle is where all of the graphics should be held that you want to actually view after the pin is pressed. Anything that lays outside this circle around this edge is going to be clipped and you will not be able to view it after the button is pressed. So while we're making our button, we need to keep in mind that we need to keep our important graphics and text inside this inner circle. We're going to make a football themed button today. So we're going to use a football image and then text overlaying that image for our team name. To insert an image, you're going to go up to the top, click on Insert, Picture, From File, and it's on our desktop already. So you're going to go find your file on your computer. We're going to click there. This is our image, and we're going to click Open. Now let's drag our image to overlay where it meets the edges of the button, and we're going to drop it there. Let's right-click and you're going to send it back so we can see this inner circle again. Now you'll see that some of the picture is lying outside the inner circle in the edge and that's fine as long as the most important parts and the, and the parts you want to see of the photo are inside this inner circle and we are good to go on that. So let's unclick that. Now we're going to add some text for our team name. You're going to go down to the text tool in the bottom left hand corner here click and then you're going to click and drag to make a text box. We're going to do our team name which is the Vikings and if you want to change the font style or the size you're going to highlight it go up to the top here. We're going to keep Arial because it's nice and simple easy to read but you can pick any font you like and we're going to stick with size 16. We're going to make it bold and we're also going to change the color to a pale yellow so we can see it over the area that we're going to put it in, which is right here at the bottom. And you can use your arrow keys to nudge where, where you would like. So we're going to unclick. And let's zoom in a little bit so that we can make sure everything is good and line inside the right grid lines. As we bring it closer we can see that everything is in the right spot. Everything important is inside this inner circle so we are ready to go. Now that we're happy and make sure that everything is inside the circle we can delete this grid line because we don't want this to print. So you're going to right click on it and make sure that the inner circle is selected. You're going to go up to edit and cut. Now we have our pen. It's ready to print. So we're going to go up to file and print. 